hello guys welcome back to the channel uh, this video is not a vlog actually but it is going to be a little bit different and today i am here to answer the biggest question being faced by the freshers in delhi university pursuing the course economics honors and that question is right on the screen that is how to ace eco honors from delhi university in first year and the key questions we will be discussing upon would be uh, which books to follow and should we join the coaching institute and if uh, we want to join then which coaching institute to join and if we are looking for call societies um, which what are my recommendations and how to hit that 9 plus cgpa mark in semester 1 and semester 2 and the free resources which are which are available or the youtube channels which would greatly help all of the first year students Uh, before i start you can all find uh, the links to the all the youtube channels and the uh, drive material or the notes in my description of this video but before uh, going there i would request you all to first uh, watch this video till the end and it would be greatly helpful to all of you to begin i would first like to introduce myself uh, to all the viewers uh, i am currently pursuing economics honors from shri guru gobind singh college of commerce delhi university and currently i am in semester 3 of my course to add i scored 9.14 cgpa in my first year and let's begin now so let's begin with the key questions and in semester 1 in addition to the four extra papers which are general elective vac aec and sec we are having the three main core papers which are introductory mme introductory statistics and introductory microeconomics and in pap in semester 2 we would be having intermediate mme intermediate statistics and introductory macroeconomics now moving to the question that how much maths involved in this program so let's be honest guys uh, uh, i would like to advise or suggest that do not judge the maths from semester 1 and semester 2 in e corners about the whole course uh, the level it in year 1 and year 2 is drastically different about the maths involved and it's uh, it is not uh, as frightful as you uh, may be thinking but uh, there is a great deal of maths involved and it can only be uh, studied if you study regularly and uh, able to cover the syllabus in the stipulated time uh, but the major thing i would like to tell you that in this course eco honors that is in delhi university or any the major university of india the component of maths is very much broader than the component of economics and there would be a little bit of economics involved with the, with a larger portion of mathematics and that is the uh, biggest truth of this course now moving to the next question about which books i referred so in semester 1 that is for introductory mme uh, the book prescribed is sitter and hammond for the statistics uh, paper uh, we would be having jl devor and for microeconomics we would be having uh, mankew about uh, the approach for end semester examinations it would be uh, first of all you have got to uh, you know go through the readings and the back questions are extremely important and semester 1 and semester 2 i have experienced that major portion of the questions asked in the end semester paper are based on the end uh, end chapter exercises and they cannot be ignored uh, so that is one point next thing i would like to add for the approach for end semester examination would be going through the past year question papers of at least 7 to 8 years for each paper that is mme uh, stats and micro and solving them and uh getting an idea of the pattern of questions that would be asked and the exam would be of 90 marks as you uh, would surely know uh, the next interesting question would be which coaching institute to follow or is it important to follow coaching or to join any tuition classes so i would like to reveal that uh, yeah uh, it was for me or it may not be for you but i uh, studied from sig classes in semester 1 Uh, which provided free lectures for MME, Micro and Stats, absolutely free of cost uh, for the whole syllabus. And I have pinned down the link for uh, the YouTube channel of that uh, institute uh, in the description of the video. You can check it out. Also in semester two, now I uh, moved on to PMG classes and RSG classes for my mic Micro, MME and Stats. Now the basic advantages of joining the coaching or the uh tuition classes would be 
that uh, they teach in a very structured manner they know exactly how the paper pattern is set in uh, delhi university for economics honors and they also make you understand the concepts very well and you can also use the youtube channels i have provided links in the description of this video they can help in building concepts but if you would like to uh, dive deep into the concepts and understand how uh, uh, the course uh, really operates and you would like to study it the by heart then i would recommend you to uh, join any of the uh, institutes and there may be more institutes but these are two institutes or three institutes uh, the pmg classes rsg classes and sig classes which i would recommend you all now coming to the free resources which are available for e corners and there are ample youtube channels and for institutes to study well and i have pinned down the link of these youtube channels in this description of this video you can use uh, any of these those channels to build your concepts or to see uh, any uh, particular concept which in which you are facing any problem and the channels would be the organic chemistry tutor sig classes rsg classes uh, pmg classes and another youtube channel named economics by sandeesh now strongly believe that given that approach to the end semester examinations and the study material which i have provided in this uh, description of this video and the youtube channels would help you enough to get through your semester and examinations with good grades and that is all uh, concerning this course now apart from having a strong academic record uh, right from the sem first semester there would be quite a few things to uh, work upon in the domain of extracurricular activities uh, you can boost your up your cv or begin to start building up your extracurricular skills and all using uh, few few of these points which i have mentioned on the screen uh, starting with case competitions you may be able to find ample case competitions happening around delhi university and many other colleges for societies i would recommend three top societies to join for boosting up your skills and building upon your extracurriculars which would be in actus 180 dc and any academic society you may be willing to join uh, then there are article writing competitions debate competitions and you would like to work upon the presentation skills communication skills and pursuing any online courses in data science or any consulting or business management from coursera and they would also help you in uh, adding something valuable to our cv so that is all for today from my side uh, if you like this video and uh, like the resources i provided in uh, the description of this video do like the video and subscribe to the channel also share this video as uh, much as you can uh, if you know anyone who is pursuing e-commerce from delhi university thank you guys